Hey guys, how are you today? I am out here and uh, it wants to rain, but it is still beautiful. The breeze is nice and I've been spending the morning in the garden, sifting out my seeds. These are my collard green seeds. Look at my seeds guys, like that's a lot of seeds. <laughs> okay, and I'm not even done yet. So, mm. so yeah. Summer is almost over as far as, you know, kids and school is concerned. And I was sitting here thinking about the two things that I feel from even for, for myself and for other people, two most important things that I want to teach my kids before they go to school again. We, we started teaching them throughout um, this last semester and and it's it's starting to work and i'm starting to see the fruits now um so i wanted to share these two things with you one is the power of manifestation and two power of intentions very very important things for children to learn now if you don't know these and you need to also because it's going to be hard for you to teach this to your children to encourage your children to to um, act this way or speak this way if you don't so you know try to do this yourself because it will change your life um, and I'm not talking about hocus pocus type of stuff I'm talking about real real change in your life um the power of manifestation and the power of intention setting is huge for children it's it's like teaching them that they have a superpower that you have the power to control your life to bring good things into your life to deflect bad things you know that's it's a big deal, especially, I mean, think back to your life in middle school. <laughs> oh my God, that would be like the worst thing ever having to like go back to middle, middle school. Like, no, uh, having like the confidence that I have now, I mean, my experience would have been completely different <laughs> you know teaching your children these two things will give them confidence because confidence is like it's you it's a part of you it's in you but if you don't know how to tap into that energy you're always going to be searching for something you're always going to be looking for something to give you confidence and to to push you and no, it's inside of you already. You just have to activate it, tap into it, and you'll see a difference in your children. You will see them, you know, stepping forward. You'll see them putting themselves out there more and volunteering in school more, getting their schoolwork done, doing better in school. When a child thinks that they are out of control of a situation, they don't do well. You know, when they think that they have so little power over themselves or, you know, in themselves, they don't do well. But teaching a child that they have power, hmm, that's a game changer. For their attitude for their behavior um just their overall well-being you know they're, they're gonna treat each other better their siblings better knowing that bringing good into your life will change my life and i can bring more good into my life just by feeling happy just by being you know gratitude you know just by being thankful for everything that I already have 
could change a lot. You know, even with their, their schoolwork, teaching my, my children, okay, you, you don't take, you don't study for a spelling test. You tell yourself what you want to learn. You tell yourself what you want in your head. You read those spelling words in a way for your brain to remember it, right? So you're, it's not like, okay, I gotta, oh my gosh, I gotta take this test, I have to write them, you know, 99 times, I'm never gonna get into my head, I'm never gonna remember these things. No, you write it because you are telling your brain, this is what you, re this is what you're gonna remember. This is what um, I need you to know. And you know this, and you can remember this. And you know what, and you're gonna pass this test. It's gonna be a piece of cake. You know these words, you're, you're, you're not necessarily repeating the words because you don't know. You're repeating the words because you're reminding your body, you're reminding your brain that you know. It's a different attitude. It's a totally different attitude. My kids were like, once we changed that attitude towards it, they were like passing their spell test like, like, whoa, you know, like blowing their own minds. Like, okay, I just like, I'm passing the test. And I'm like, yes, because some children have test taking anxiety. Some kids, you know, they're just anxious when their teacher's like, okay, pop quiz today. Or, you know, we're doing this today instead of that. And now you've totally thrown yourself off and you're like, wait, you know, because some kids are just not like that. You know, they need to be kind of warned <laughs> before things change, you know. But teaching your child that you always have control and power over situations, it will help them with that, I promise you. It will help them gain control faster. Say, okay, I can do this. It's a different situation, but you know what? Everything is fine. I'm here, I'm capable. I know my work, we're constantly reminding yourself that you got this. It's very important. Um, and sometimes, you know, teaching your child how to manifest things is, is, is not, it, it, that's, it's not always with, with, you know, spiritual things. It can be physical things also. You know, it can be material things too. You know, there's a lot of time, like for instance, just let me give you this example. My son's iPad, his tablet broke. And I was, I told him, I said, I promise you I'm not getting another one right now. I'm just trying to tell you. We're, you know, you know, we're trying to open up the store. The um, school hasn't started yet. We got a whole list of school supplies to get. Your sister's about to go to college. Look relax. I'm not even going to talk about this right now. So he was like, oh, but I, you know, I really, I said, listen, I'm not going to tell you that you can't manifest this. I'm going to encourage you to put that energy out in the universe because I believe, and I'm telling you guys, I believe when you manifest things, the, the God, the universe, whatever you want to label it, is going to put things in line to help things come to pass right once you put that positive energy not worry you don't put worry you put worry out in the universe ain't nothing gonna happen but more and more and more stress but you put that positive energy out there and you believe you get it i mean but you have to believe it you know and there's a, as an adult i mean sometimes you you just don't see you just don't see how in the world, you know, you, I was raised in the church. There's one saying that we used to say is that he'll make a way out of no way, right? This is like, you know, manifesting, believing, you putting that energy out there. And a way is going to be made. You got to believe that. You got to believe that just a way is going to be made, right? So I said, son that's what you want i mean i'm not going to tell you i've been teaching you how to manifest things how to, you know how to put positive intentions out into the world i've been teaching you this i'm not going to tell you 
that it's not possible. I'm not going to tell you that. that I know what I can physically do right now. <laughs> and it's not that. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you that you cannot put that energy out there in the universe. So he must have, guys. I'm trying to tell you, he must have put that out there because he's he went away. He and uh, my three younger kids, they went to um, Louisiana. Two days after he had been there, his grandparents bought him an iPad. <laughs> I was like, he's like, Mom, look. And I was like, what? You, you buying what? Yeah, she's taking me to Sam's to go get an iPad. I was, the first thing that came over me was, this boy done manifested an iPad. I was like, wow. He got more faith than me, y'all. <laughs> no, for real, he's nine years old, he got more faith than me. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You got to, man, to have the faith that you can put something out there in the universe and know that it's going to come to pass know that things are going to work out that's that's what you got to teach them that's what you got to teach them the math and the science all that stuff is going to come that stuff is going to come you know why because they're going to have confidence in them that they will absorb that knowledge and they are going to do well with it right but teaching them that you have the power to speak over your life in a positive way and have good things happen. It could change everything. It could ch I mean, it will change you. Okay, so you've got to learn this yourself. If you don't do this, if you want your children to have, to have everything, then you've got to teach them how to get it. And it's not just by working your tail off. Because there's a lot of people that work hard, y'all, that ain't got nothing. That's still struggling. Okay? This is about telling the universe what you want. Telling God what you want. Pulling that stuff into your life. That's how you change it. Telling yourself every day. Why can't my life be good? Why can't I get good grades in school? I can. Why do I have to struggle? I don't have to. These are the things that you, you have got to put out there. You've got to. Because we are, we're like magnets, right? We're like, we're full of electricity in our body we're constantly pulling what the universe has you know like some people say you know when, when you can tell when it's a full moon because people start acting crazy right the energy that's in the universe affects you you put good stuff out good stuff's gonna come back you constantly put out worry and and stress and pain and just i don't have this and i can't do that and going to get more of that you're telling the universe this is what I want I want more stress he does I want more pain and it doesn't mean that you're not going to experience bad things bad things happen you know um, we lose things we lose people we think bad things happen but those are the things that are not in our control but the energy that we bring into our lives, we can have a lot of control over that. Okay, we can choose to be positive, to be negative. Okay, so teaching your children to manifest things into their life, put positive intentions out into the world over themselves, over their life, before they go to bed, throughout the day, in the middle of a test, in the middle of the hallway, while, you know, maybe they're going to the next class and they're feeling stressed, like, mm -mm, no. 
I have the power to do this. I am strong. I am I am intelligent. I got this. I'm going to get a good grade on this test. I'm going to keep getting good grades. I'm going to, you know, pass this test. I'm going to ace this one. I'm going to do constantly saying it. These kids aren't going to bother me anymore. This is not, you know, we're, you know, all this um, negative stuff that's happening around me is done. It's over. Speaking this into your life can change things for you. It will change things for you. Not can, it will. So I'm telling y'all this because it's working for me. It works. Um, it works. Okay, I want y'all to to bring blessing into your life and um, bring blessing into your children's life. Teach them that they have the superpower inside of them. They got power. That is, that's all the confidence they need, y'all. That's where it's going to come from. The power that God has given them. The power that the universe gives us all. Tap into it and use it. All right. Love y'all. See y'all again.